Bill de Blasio, and he's decided to take on Uber. Now, he's not talking about banning Uber from New York City. He's saying that they're adding thousands of cars every week, Uber is, and New York City can only deal with so many cars. And so he's going to limit the number of Ubers. Now, you know, clearly this is to protect the taxi drivers. And, you know, is it that the taxi drivers are unionized? I don't know if they are or not. I know that here in D.C. they are. I believe they are. I think the Teamsters represent them. I'm pretty sure that. I know the Teamsters represent taxi drivers all over the country, and the Teamsters are very outspoken against Uber. My understanding is, from what I've read so far in the news reports, I haven't talked with Bill de Blasio or his people, um, is that they want to simply limit the number of new cars coming into New York City. But, you know, I can tell you, as a guy who doesn't own a car, living in Washington, D.C., I use the metro, the subway system, uh, most of the time. And I, 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 every single weekday. I mean, I literally use it every day to get from the radio studio to the TV studio. And, and probably half the days I, I use it to get from home to the radio studio. The thing is, I've got to walk about a half a mile to get to a train station from where I live. And so if it's a nice day, I walk. If it's raining or if it's just like, you know, so hot, I'm going to end up, you know, ruining my shirt before I even get to work. Um, then I'll take Uber. And then, you know, on the way home, I'll take Uber or a cab or something like that because it's, it's dark and it's uh, DC and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, I'm a, I'm a happy Uber customer. That said, I understand the dangers of the sharing economy, as it were. That is to say, uh, you know, people have part-time work, but they have no benefits. They have no, uh, and no opportunity for benefits. And because they're not technically employees, if they're treated badly, they have no recourse. And they certainly can't unionize. So, in a way, the entire model of employment in the United States is changing. And I suspect de Blasio is going to ultimately regret having waded into this. But we'll see. We'll see. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on that, too.